Afternoon all. I'm going to try some video of my new uh, Hung Shing True Sharp Group by Katana. I'm going to try the lighting a few different ways. I'm going to do a pass with today's natural overcast light, then I'll turn my digital enhancer light on, and then my actual camera light. See if we can get anything to come out here as far as the uh, Hammond and the Hada. So it's actually a pretty nice grain. I really like it. It's tight. It's close. It looks good, but it's hard to pick up with this camera. So we'll go into the uh, macro. Start at the Suba or the Suka. Sorry. Full Same wrap. The fittings are alloy. I opted for a lower costing fitting because I hope to make my own eventually. Black dyed. Uh, I went with the no he. So this is with the light against it. Let me see if I can keep the blur. You can see a little bit of it. It picks up best, of course, right at the uh, they hum online. So again, I'm actually starting with the fully lit video first. Okay, and I'll swap to digital lighting, see if that gives me a better look. I'm trying to keep myself out of the reflection. and natural lighting can't get too close or I get a bit of a blur even with the macro setting it has a, an ideal range alright It's a funny thing, I actually have to stand further away than with any other katana I've taken camera work on. And just to get the whole thing in because it's so long. Alright, I'm going to pause this and swap to the other side of the blade. Alright, so I'm back and this time I'm actually starting this side the way I intended to start the other side, which was just natural lighting first. Let's get the macro on, there we go. Hit that ideal point. There's an emperor node coming into the center of the screen right there. get in without losing the blur. I think that's about as close as it wants me to get. I hope this is picking up that tight green. And we'll switch the light to digital enhance. and artificial light camera's got a little LED on it, LED light can't help the shadow, the camera's making its own shadow I wish I actually had some sunlight right now instead of overcast because that could help me get some nice reflection off this at times yeah, well, I hope that shows something. Let's move to the Saya. I can definitely see where buying better quality is worth it. This has got to be the nicest Saya I've ever had. This is the nicest Katana I've owned as well. What a jump in quality to see real Segeo, the bullhorn. I love the wood finish on this. Again, the horn here. Back. Just 
Stingray or the Same Wrap at the top. Let's check that out. See if I can get it to catch a little bit of light in it and show you the, the way the light reflects through that. I love it. Sorry for the wobbly camera work. Again, this thing just feels better. It feels solid. Trustworthy. Not like other size that I've held on the cheap swords that I've owned. I feel flimsy. This has none of that feeling. Same with the blade. It's stout. I went with Nohi on purpose. I wanted to be able to see, see more of the flat of the sword. Worry less about weight. Bohe and all that stuff. I want to show off what had happened with the steel best I could. And I felt no Bohe would help me in that. Alright, let's pull this out.